The number one troll in the world is a Belarusian man living in exile. Vladislav Bokin convinced a, a significant number of Russian teachers um, that they need to wear tinfoil hats. And they did. They made and wore tinfoil hats, them and the students. This is a man that exists out of spite. Vladislav Bokin is an activist, and he posed as the Kremlin, sending an urgent message to Russian schools in the Verona's um, region of Russia, stating that Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, wanted teachers to, to make and wear tinfoil hats in order to protect themselves from Western ideas and Western satellite radiation. The ideas uh, would be beamed from satellite into the minds of Russians. Vladislav Bokin has asserted that Russians are so deeply conditioned to follow Putin's orders that they will follow any, no matter how absurd. And so he pulled off the greatest prank ever. He posed as the Kremlin, and he convinced a bunch of Russian educators to create and wear tinfoil hats for them and their students. Upon donning the tinfoil hats, um, they said that they felt quite different, so I conducted my own experiment. I have to say, my thoughts feel significantly clearer now, all right? Um, I no longer feel that I have to exist out of spite. I feel that I can exist uh, just, just normally, uh, maybe. The Belarusian activist living in exile told them that this was a large-scale patriotic event. Uh, the, the, this is something they needed to do in order to protect the motherland. The irony should not be lost on you. It's not lost on me, but it was clearly lost on them that tinfoil hats are, uh, you know, associated with paranoia, conspiracy theories, and nonsense. It's been reported that the teachers accepted this task with delight and zeal, right? They were ready to protect themselves and their students from nasty NATO ideas. After receiving instructions from the Kremlin, which was actually Vladislav Bokin, uh, the teachers constructed the hats and then reported that they felt a purification of thought, a surge in patriotism. One of the teachers in a video said that creating these tinfoil hats was not only a, a creative uh, a, you know, process, but it was an important patriotic act, um, symbolic of you know, really what it means to be a Russian. Vladislav Bokin told these individuals that NATO meant to irradiate them physically and, and mentally and biologically, and that they needed to learn how to defend themselves with primitive means, uh, like tinfoil hats. He uh, stated that he thought he had already reached the depths of absurdity um, until he accomplished this, which was uh, convincing a bunch of grown educators of young people to, to make tinfoil hats. The Belarusian activist has stated that the schools in Russia have become uh, systems of brainwashing and suppression, and he wanted to make the systems work against themselves. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you want to support me further, feel free to head on over to my website, grab some merch, and let me know in the comments what else you want me to talk about.